Hi, I'm Simon from Yeah.com, and in this tutorial you'll be learning how to dial a user by extension. To begin, log into your Yeah.com account and select My VoIP from the main navigation. Next go to Routing and select Call Routes. To create a new call route, select Add Call Route. Give your call route a nickname, and then select Dial User by Extension Routing Module. You will see it appear in the Active Call Route. In order to allow incoming callers to dial an extension, we first need to set up an audio message that will let them know they can. Click in the Play This Message field and a drop down list of all audio files will be displayed. If you have not yet created an audio file or you have not uploaded it to your account, select the Create New Audio File option. The Add New Audio File pop up will now appear. Start by giving your audio file a nickname. The tag field allows you to enter a name by which you can group and filter audio files. For now we will leave this blank. If you have an audio file ready to upload, click the browse button and navigate to the file location on your computer. Once you have your audio file uploaded, click the save changes button to finish. If you do not have an audio file ready, you can record a message from the phone by following the instructions here. Dial star 50 from your SIP phone and follow the instructions. Save the audio file when prompted. The pop-up menu will update with a new audio file you've just recorded. Enter a nickname for this audio file. You can also add a tag if you wish. Click Save Changes. You will now see the audio nickname for the new file in the Play This Message field. If you wish to hear the audio again, select the Play button here. Hello, this is Yay.com. If you know the extension number of the person you are calling, please enter it now. Now that we have configured the audio for incoming calls, we need to set how the call will proceed, depending on what the caller enters. If the caller enters a valid extension, the call will be connected directly to the registered user. The Ring 4 field allows you to set how long the user's phone will ring before moving on to the next module in the call route. As we have no modules in the call route currently, the call will simply hang up after 30 seconds have passed. The No Answer field allows you to simplify the call route for an unanswered call by allowing you to forward it on to the personal voicemail of the extension dialed rather than continue to the next call route. If the caller does not know the extension of a user or enters an invalid number, we need to set what happens next and how the incoming call will be directed. The Entry Timeout field allows you to set a number of seconds that will pass before the call route will move on to the next module. This gives the caller time to enter the extension number. If you select the Timeout Invalid Extension field, you will notice the message here will change. The call route is now asking us to set what happens when a user entered an invalid number or call times out based on the number of seconds we entered here. You can add any of the routing modules here to the call route to direct the call how you like. But for this example, I'm going to direct any incoming calls that are either invalid or timeout to the receptionist. Select the Send to User module. It will now appear in the active call route. Click in the Send Call To field and select the user you want to direct the call to. In this case, Jane. Before we save the call route, let's go through the steps again. The incoming call is received. An audio message plays asking the caller to enter an extension number. If they know the extension number, the corresponding user's phone will ring and the call will be connected. If they do not answer after 30 seconds, the call will be directed to the user's personal voicemail and the caller can leave a message. If the caller does not enter an extension number after 10 seconds or enters an invalid number, the call will be directed to Jane. If they do not pick up after 30 seconds, the call will hang up. Select Save Changes, click the number you wish to assign the call route to and select Assign Now. Now when someone calls this number, they will be greeted with your audio message and be able to enter an extension number. For more tutorials on call routing and other VoIP features, check out yay.com's YouTube channel. To learn more about VoIP services including our 30-day trial, please visit yay.com.